Hi, my name's Darren, welcome to my workshop. As you can probably see, I've got a, another project on the go here at the moment, and that's going to take a while to be finished. So I thought in the meantime, I'll pop up a 3D prints in the workshop video. So I've got three items today. Uh, none of them were designed by me, these are all by other designers. So I'll put their links below the video so that you can link to them and download them if you want. Uh, these all happen to be off Thingiverse, uh, just seems to be that's where all the best prints are. What can I say? Alright, so I've uh, printed them out, put them to their tests, and uh, let's take a closer look at them. So these are the three items we'll be looking at today. We've got a feather board made by Marcel Bichon, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. A serious clampet square made by J-Max, and a drill dust collector vacuum attachment by Spanner Hands. All right, let's take a closer look. As I was printing this feather board, I ran out of uh, the original light blue or medium blue filament part way through. I was quick enough to get another blue filament in straight after, but as you can see, it's darker. So I've ended up with a two-tone effect here on the actual feather board. All right, let's take this for a test drive. So. There's plenty of adjustment on it, which is nice. More adjustment than the old one. So let's see how we go. We're gonna cut a groove in this piece of wood and just see if this can hold it in place nicely while we do it. it certainly looks like it'll do the job well. Well, there we go, it works. Not that I expected otherwise. It's obviously very well designed. So let's take it up and have a look how it's constructed. So underneath, ooh, got a bit of wax on it. Okay, so we've got obviously the main frame of the unit and then these little star knobs that are printed out which I've stuck nuts in, they had a nice little hex cut out ready so it was just a case of squeezing the nuts into place and they're a tight fit, a washer, a little bolt and then underneath of course there's this little piece which pulls up through this piece, it causes it to expand as it pulls up which is what locks it in place within the mitre slot on the table. So yeah, he's done a good job designing this, well done. Okay, so this is my original feather board. It was cheap, I've had it for years, it works really well, absolutely no complaints. And this is the one we've just printed out. Works very well, good amount of adjustment in it, although a little bit stiff still, although I should imagine that will loosen up as the parts wear a little bit at the moment. Ugh, things are a little stiff, but very functional. My only complaint, or not really complaint, something I would uh, either improve if I was going to build another one, there's really no need for me to do, or something if you're going to build one you might look into, is the way that these expand. At the moment we've got a bolt that hits a, uh, or pushes, pulls a dovetail piece of plastic into a plastic frame. And that plastic frame is a little bit on the difficult side to get in and, in and out of the mortars. Where on the purchase one, they just use one piece of plastic and there's a small conical hole with a tapered head screw or a countersunk head screw in it. And so as the screw's pulled in, it just pushes the sides out. Uh, very simple, very effective, and so easy to get in and out of the slot, it's that quick. Compared to, and you're probably not going to want to see me do this in full because it can take a while, Ah, and I've got the washer on the wrong side. Ah. Alright, well the easiest way anyway <laughs> is to do it like this. It really doesn't want to go in the slot. This piece, it's distorted with having been used, and now it just does not want to go into this slot. And it's pushing it upside down. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Alright, so 
otherwise, I have a very good set of doors. Just that one small improvement that I would make if I could, but well. So all in all, a really good feather board, definitely a pass. I would have a small improvement made to it if I was going to make another one, but quite frankly I'm not going to make another one, I've got two. I don't need three. Uh, I don't really need two most of the time, although sometimes it's handy. Alright. A set of clamping squares is something I've been thinking of purchasing for a long time. The idea being when you're joining two pieces of wood, at 90 degrees and you want to clamp them in place you can place one of these sorts of squares in the corner and attach your clamps to either side of this and this keeps your work square. Um, haven't got round to buying any yet and I thought to myself well, I've got a 3D printer why don't I print some? And then as I got more and more accustomed with 3D printing and noticed how much these things can warp during the printing process I thought to myself maybe I won't print one. Finally, it got the better off me and I had to do it to see how it come out. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't come out square. Uh, it did either warp a little bit or shrink one way or another, but uh, it's not quite square. So unfortunately, the clamp at square is a slight fail. Uh, no disrespect to J-Max who designed it. The designs I'm sure are spot on, it's just the way that the plastic shrinks afterwards. If I show it to you here and get it just right, you'll be able to see the light shining through the gap. Oh, I can't lie. There we go. I don't know if you can just see it. Actually, it's quite hard to see in the camera. Oh, there we go. There you go. You can see it's out of square. Out of square. There we go. Out of square. So unfortunately, the clampet square gets a fail. I'm going to use my Ryobi portable vacuum cleaner to test the uh, drill dust extractor. Just because it's very convenient, light, easy to move around. So, uh, oh, and it also, it happens to fit quite nicely too. Like being the 32mm attachment, it doesn't fit the, the uh, Festool vacuum cleaner but it does fit this very nicely. So let's see, let's turn it on and have a look. So there you go, on a smooth wall you can just stick it in place and uh, go ahead and drill. I haven't got a smooth wall to try it on, we're going to use a brick. Alright, I've got my faithful old brick as seen on YouTube. I've got my vacuum cleaner, my vacuum cleaner attachment. I'm just going to have to swap sides because this is going to be awkward for me otherwise. Ah, being right handed. Okay, so here we go, here we go, here we go. if I turn that off wouldn't it now there's no brick dust here so that's good it certainly seems to work you can see inside the brick dust has obviously been sucked through here and hit the wall before being sucked away because a little bit of stuck to the inside but that's only because it's a rough print yeah okay so the drill dust collector that gets a pass excellent well done Okay, hopefully that's been of some help. Um, I think this is the winner of the day and the featherboard's a close second. Very close second, I really do like the featherboard. Bit of a disappointment with the clampet square. Uh, I think if you were to use the same model and CNC machine it rather than try and print it, 
something, it'd be a very useful item. But printed on something like an FDM printer, it's just, you know, <laughs> buy one rather than build one, I would say. Hopefully that's been of some use. Have a really great day, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.